me show real quick how you line up a laser level like the 92801 here. There's two adjustments here on top. You don't want to mess with these unless you know what you're doing. Uh, frankly, these need to probably have a piece of plastic over them or something so somebody doesn't mess with them. Anyways, this is a fully manual level. Wherever you move this around, there's no automatic feature. So if I look over here on a box, you can see the beam moves around. What you do is you set this up on a surface that's flat, let's say with a torpedo level. You level up both of these vials on here, and when you've got them leveled up, you go through and you put a mark over here where the laser beam is. And you go over here when this is leveled on this axis and you rotate it around 180 and then you quickly go over and adjust this level vial to be on the money and you go over here and put a mark where this is halfway between the two of these is true level then you go through and adjust this screw here until adjust the leveling on this over here until the instrument reads correct on the vial excuse me on the center mark here then you're going to go through and adjust this screw to the level vial reads correct and when that's correct you should be able to put this in this axis and when this is centered or in this other axis you rotate this around the minus version. When these are too centered, it should stay at the same mark over here. Now the baseline you want to use on a little Mickey Mouse level like this is probably at least 25 feet. Uh, the more professional versions of this that are by different companies, they usually say a quarter of an inch and 100 feet, which is pretty hokey. It's probably closer to really being about a half inch and 100 feet. Uh, I think the Harbor Freight more conservatively says it's a quarter inch and 30 feet or something like that, which is more practical because these vials are fairly coarse. But anyways, you should be able to have this on a flat surface and be able to have these vials centered up. And no matter when you rotate the instrument anywhere around like this and re-level re it, it should be at the same mark over here. And... What you're doing here is you're going through and putting it in one axis like this, adjusting the level vial to it reads on the center here. You can go over here and see it reads on the top. And if I go flip this over on the other side here, it reads on the bottom when it's leveled. And then if you go purposely go through and adjust in to its centers up. Okay, you're splitting the difference is what you're doing. And then you're going to go through and adjust this screw on that particular axis till the vial reads correct. And you're going to both do that on the Y axis and the X axis. And so I've labeled these. There's a label here on the top of Y and also an X. It's a little bit frustrating to do but when they ship these things they have these screws up on top here, which they don't really tell you what to do. Uh, if somebody's going to sit there and just board and messes one one of these, it's going to be all messed up. But the condition is, is you should be able to rotate this instrument around on a flat plate. And in any position, if you level up these vials to where they're on the center, you should read at the same mark here in the center. And anyways, that's the 92801 rotary level. It's got a 5 8 inch mount on the bottom here. It uses a standard tripod. Just want to show how you level that up.